This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2019. Rotator cuff tears are a common injury among individuals aged 50 and older, and these tears have a negative impact on quality of life. Rotator cuff tears can be treated with surgical repair or physiotherapy. Both treatments have been shown to be beneficial, but which is better? As most studies comparing the two treatments were limited to short-term follow-ups, orthopedic researchers in Norway performed a 10-year follow-up study to determine which treatment method has better long-term outcomes. 103 patients with small and medium-sized full-thickness rotator cuff tears that did not exceed 3 cm were randomized to treatment groups of either primary tendon repair or physiotherapy with optional secondary repair. The physiotherapy group followed an individually adapted exercise program guided by a physiotherapist with two treatment sessions per week for about 12 weeks, and the primary tendon repair group underwent surgical repair of the tear. The authors found that although both groups showed improvements in the first two years, by year 10, shoulder function remained stable in the surgical group but had declined in the physiotherapy group. The surgical group demonstrated better survey scores, lower pain, greater shoulder range of motion, better patient satisfaction, and greater strength, whereas 41% of the tears that remained unrepaired after 10 years in the physiotherapy group showed a tear enlargement of greater than 10 millimeters and a poor outcome. It is known that unrepaired tears can widen over time, and the authors speculate that over the 10-year study period, anatomic tear deterioration in the physiotherapy group may have led to worse outcomes. Although other factors such as cost and risk of complications need to be considered, these results support the use of a primary tendon repair to treat younger patients with small and medium-sized rotator cuff tears who want to return to an active lifestyle.